Scheduled Dial Scheduled Dial allows users to schedule a call back in the future as part of a calendar event. At the scheduled time, Dial IQ will place a call to the user and when the user answers, call the lead and connect the two. This feature appears as the Scheduled Dial setting on the Calendar Events pop-up. Scheduled Dial Administrator Settings on the Client Settings page. There are some settings that need to be configured on the Client Settings page for Scheduled Dial. Click Client Settings on the Preferences submenu. Click the Call Settings Client tab and find the section of the Client Settings page called Scheduled Callback Settings. Whisper Info Message The Whisper Message is a message the user will hear when DialIQ calls him before connecting him to the lead. You can use field tags in the Whisper Message. In the Schedule Dial Whisper Info Message field, you can enter a Whisper Message that is different than the Shotgun Connect Call Then Distribute Whisper Message. This example shows a Whisper Message that alerts the user that the call being connected is a scheduled dial. Whatever you enter in this field does not repeat. It will be recited one time only to the user answering the phone. For that reason, it is recommended that the whisper message be copied and pasted several times into this field. Having the message repeat will simulate a looping effect and give the user more than one opportunity to hear it. Retry attempts. Check this box to enable retry attempts. Enabling retry attempts will result in Dial IQ placing three calls to the user to try to connect him to the scheduled dial. These calls are made at five minute intervals. This feature helps prevent scheduled dials from being missed when a user is on another call at the time of the scheduled dial. This setting only applies to Dial IQ calls placed using the scheduled dial feature. This setting does not apply to Shotgun Connect distribution programs. Note that when using Dial IQ, you can only schedule callbacks for leads that are assigned to you. If you have a Leads 360 role, such as Administrator, that allows you to see leads assigned to other users, you will not be able to schedule callbacks for those leads. Using Scheduled Dial To use Scheduled Dial, users must be sure to have their Calls button on to be sure they are connected to their scheduled dials. If a user's Calls button is off, Dial IQ will not initiate the scheduled dial. Scheduled dial is set on the Add Edit Calendar Event pop-up. It is available as a setting wherever you set calendar events. To use Scheduled dial, right-click a lead on the View Leads page and select Add Calendar Event. The Add Edit Calendar Event pop-up will load. Add information to the calendar event as you normally would including selecting Task or Appointment. Schedule Dial works both with tasks and appointments. Give the calendar event a title and a description. Then set the date and time of the calendar event by selecting the radio button that corresponds with the method you would like to use to schedule your task or appointment. The first option allows you to schedule the calendar event at a specific date and time in the future. Use the Time Zone radio buttons to designate if the calendar event is scheduled at the selected time in your time zone or in the time zone of the lead. This method would be used if you are scheduling the calendar event for some specific time in the future. The second option allows you to select from a drop-down menu a number of minutes, hours, or days in the future that you would like to schedule the scheduled dial. This method would be used when a lead asks a user to call him back without setting an exact time. For example, call me back in 15 minutes. Click the checkbox to engage the scheduled dial functionality. Clicking the scheduled dial checkbox will activate the phone number dropdowns. The values that are pre-selected in the phone number dropdowns are your dial IQ phone, set by you on your My Settings page, and the leads phone number. The default lead phone number is determined by administrators on the client settings page. You can set this scheduled dial to occur between any two numbers that are in the system. If you want Dial IQ to call you on your mobile phone and the lead on his home phone, select those values from the scheduled dial drop downs. When you have completed your calendar event settings, click the Save and Close button. If the calendar event is a task, the scheduled dial occurs at the time of the task. 
If the calendar event is an appointment, the scheduled dial will occur at the beginning of the appointment. Note that there are a couple of situations where if you try to schedule a calendar event with scheduled dial, you will receive an error message. If you already have a calendar event with a scheduled dial pending on a given lead, it will not be possible to schedule another. Also, if you have scheduled an appointment that has a scheduled dial, you will be unable to schedule another scheduled dial during that appointment time. Once the calendar event is scheduled, it will appear in your dashboard calendar. When the time arrives for the scheduled callback, Dial IQ will ring your phone. When you answer your phone, you will hear the whisper message and have to press the 1 button to be connected to the lead. When you press the 1 button, Dial IQ will place the call to the lead and connect the two calls. Pressing the 1 key will also trigger a dialer call notification to pop up on the screen. Clicking the View Call Details button will expand the Dial IQ action window. On the Dial IQ action window, it is possible to take actions on leads, make comments, leave an automatic voicemail, and more. Take an action on the lead from the Dial IQ window by selecting an action from the drop-down, making a comment if necessary, and clicking the Take Action button. Click the Leave Message button to leave a pre-recorded voicemail. When the call is complete, end the call by clicking the Hang Up button.